Good day, students. I welcome you once again to this multimedia tutorial class for GSS2. I am Akimbo Iwa Emmanuel. I would like you to sit down, take your, your pen and paper, and let's keep the ball rolling. Now, today, we are going to be considering file sharing slash computer network. I repeat again, we are going to be considering file sharing and computer network. A lesson objective for today. At the end of this lesson, the students should be able to explain what is file sharing. I mean, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell me what is file sharing. Two, state the various types of computer network. State the various types of computer network. Now, like I said earlier there, that we are going to be considering file sharing slash computer network. Now, this particular topic is a topic we all cannot do without. We are more files. We share data. We share documents every minute, every second, every hour, every day, every month, and every year. So therefore, this topic is very, very crucial. So I would like you to sit down and listen attentively. Now, what is file sharing? You can tell me what is file sharing. I know some of you might be trying to, you know, check online for what is file sharing or trying to read what you already have on the, what, on the screen. Now, file sharing is a practice of distributing or providing access to digital media, such as computer programs, multimedia, documents, or electronic word book. Now, when we talk about file sharing, we are simply saying the distribution of what? Of materials. The distribution of what? Of computer what? Programs from one place to what? To another. From one person to what? To another. We all share files every day. For example, you might have an important movie, the music, a picture you like to you, you would like to get from a friend of yours, probably from his or phone or a computer. The next thing you do is either you plug your flash to the laptop or use your hotspot with your zender to move files from one location to what to another. In that case, you are doing what we call file sharing. So it is the process of distributing and providing access to digital work to digital materials to computer work, to computer programs from one person to what to another. Ability to distribute, to, to disseminate files between one another, from one device to what to another, is what we refer to as file sharing. Now, if you can look at that picture on your screen there, you can see a file moving from one laptop to the what to the other. A typical example of a file being what then shared between two or two device from one point to what to the other. Then also, file sharing may be achieved in a number of ways. Now, when we talk about that, what we are trying to say in essence is there are different ways in which we could share file among various devices, among our what, among ourselves. Now, one of them is manner sharing using removable what media. Now, this involves using your flash drive your DVDs, your CD-ROM, your digital camera, your memory disk, your zip disk, your floppy disk, your USB flash drive to what? To copy files, to copy content, to copy videos, to copy documents from one device to what? To what? To another. That is manual sharing using removable what? Media number one. Meaning method in which we produce to share files. Is number one is manual sharing using the real world media. That means a place whereby you use physical words, physical ways, physical media like your flash, like your memory card, like your 
memory stick like a zip your dvd rom your memory card to your work to share file if you have a movie that you will need to collect on my laptop now the best you can do is give me your flash and i plug to my system and i copy the content for for you that is manual sharing using removable words using removable media you can pull the files on your hand Either will you point on your work on your head or will you point inside your what your pocket you could plug your what you plug your removable what your physical removable what media to move the word to move the files from one place to what to another so number one is manual sharing using removable media another one is centralized server on computer network centralized server on computer network the type of network where all users connect to a central or to a central server which is the which is the active agent for all communication this server will stop both the communication this server will stop both the communication and the user's what account information most public instant messaging platform are a centralized network now what we are trying to say is to share information from one device world to another is my is my second one is using a centralized world server on a computer world network now let's give a practical scenario of that we all use facebook we all use instagram we all use, we all use linkedin and so many other social or social apps and so many sites you visit the site you are visiting is being kept in a particular in a particular size being host on a particular server so you will use your computer there, connect to your IP address with the internet to go to that particular server to get your what your, your, your information. Likewise, the other person somewhere sitting so I'm in another place can do what can do something of what can do something of such. Can also go there and move is what is our what is our file because this information needed are seated on a central on a central system on a central what server. In a particular in a particular place, like for example, our Facebook is not residing what in Nigeria is residing in US, in US. So we connect to the server to assess our what our, what our content. Google is not in Nigeria. We have a server in another part of the world. Another part of the world. You use your computer by connecting to your internet. You communicate to the world to the server where the information resides to extract to extract to extract what your information. What we are saying is centralized server on computer network is number two ways of work of sharing with sharing files. Another one is the World Wide Web based hyperlink what documents. Like we all know, the World Wide Web simply the www is the connection of what of different computers connected what connected together to share what to share information. The www, the World Wide Web, the World Wide Web. The resources of the W are transfer file via hypertext transfer protocol, which is your HTTP. Take note: without your HTTP, you will not be able to use your www HTTP. I will be accessed by user by software application called a web world, a web browser. And I published by a software application called a web what a web server. Now, what we are trying to say also is another ways of sharing files on a computer is through your www that's using your world wide web. And what makes that possible is because of your HTTP hypertext transfer what protocol hypertext transfer what transfer protocol. When you sit on your system and you decide to connect to the world to the world to the internet you are you, you must use your what your what your http without your http you might not be able to locate that particular address and for you to use your http you need to call a web browser we all know google uh when we talk about web browser they are, they are software that allows us to access the world, the world the internet we have the Mozilla Firefox, we have the Google Watch, the Google Chrome, we have the Opera Mini, which is quite common on a world or on a phone to assess what to assess information. So number three ways of of sharing information 
is the W W using your own, using your hyperlink for document and take notes. When you are browsing your internet and you see something that pertains to this symbol, this palm you can see right now, that implies hyperlink. If you click on a particular word and the cursor or your mouse changes to this particular thing, that means you are working with what hyperlink. That means when you click on that particular text, it will automatically move you to what to another page. Hyper word, hyper link. So number third procedure is World Wide Web using a based hyperlink word document. That is the another way of sharing your file is through your W W W. Then number four is distributed peer to peer network. Peer to peer, which is P to P. Some call it P to P. Some call it peer to what? Peer to peer. File sharing is the distribution of digital media, such as software, video, music, and image through an informal network in order to upload and what and download files. This is quite common. We all upload files. We all download or download files. It's common for virtually everybody to do online. Either you bring or you what or you put. Or you are bringing something from the internet that is download. When you are adding something to the content of what you have on the internet, that's what we call what upload is that it's going outside. When you talk about download, it's coming from outside into your world, into your system. So another way in which you could share file is using the P2P. P2P, a bit of time, P2P, that's peer to what? Peer to peer what? Networking. Then the next one we have here is computer what network. Now when we talk about computer network, we cannot exhaust the topic in a single class. It's the topic that is very broad, very what, very wide. But I will try as much as possible to simplify and summarize what the class or what for you. Now when we talk about computer network, it is used for accessing the internet. Or printing a document, a download an attachment from an email. Network are the backbone of today's business. Wow. And what we are trying to say in essence is when we talk about computer network, we simply mean the ability to connect to the different set of what different set of what computers together. And that note, the reason why we network or why we connect, why we connect different devices together is to share a particular what resources. I can connect four laptops to a single printer. I can connect five laptops to what to one hard drive. I can connect one laptop to what to one scanner using the what using the network. Exactly now. So the answer of that is either to download something on the what on the internet or upload something on the what on the internet. They can refer to a small handful of devices within a single room to millions of devices spread across the entire globe. And can be defined based on purpose or size. Now, what we are trying to say is the essence of networking is to share files for easy access of what of information so that files can easily be moved from one point, from one segment, from one device to what to another. That is the essence of doing the what we call the computer what, the computer network. Nowadays, every organization will not succeed without without networking because they need to move information very well very fast they need to move information at a very high work high rate so there can be what there can be positive work positive outcome that can be speedy work speedy work speedy speedy delivery of what of jobs so everybody now every organization every individual has to do what networking 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 so basically, when we talk about network, it simply means to connect two or more computers or systems together to share what to share resources. Now there are different types of computer what network. I will just mention ten for you. The subsequent class we will explain them one after the other. Now one of them is your PAN, which is your personal area network. PAN. Everybody say PAN. PAN. Personal area network. This is a network between you and what and me. 
We all do that before. Please, can you let me have your phone? I want to send something from your phone to my, well, to my phone using your Bluetooth. This is your infrared. Then, for those of you that, that still remember the infrared, this is your infrared to send. That is spam. Network between one or two what, one or two people. Personal area what network. You have your local area what network, which is the LAN. Local area what local area network within a specific building within a confined what building. We have wireless LAN, which is W LAN, which is the wireless local area network, which is quite common now. Are uh, this it is wireless. But it's within a confined what within a confined space. You don't need cables, just like the land, you need cable. But for the wireless local network, you don't need what to utilize what cable, you have wireless. Then we have the CAM, the campus area network. Campus area network, network within the university what campus so that students can have access to the world to the internet for research, to share what to share information, to upload information, to view their what their data. To feed their the video to be their information at we campus area network, which is the CAN, not Christian Association of Nigeria. Please, CAN campus area network. We are discussing computer here. Then we have the metropolitan area of network, which is man within a city, within a state, the metropolitan area of area network. We have the wide, which is the internet. Wide area network, which is the one wide area, what wide area network it go beyond the state, it go beyond the world, a country. Then we see how the sun, the storage area, what network. Take note, not senior advocate of Nigeria, sun storage area, what network. We see how the polar, which is the passive optical local area, what network, the passive optical local area, what network. Then we see have the EPN, the Enterprise Private What Network, EPN, Enterprise Private Network. Then we see have the Virtual Private Network, which is the VPN. This is what is running these days, VPN. Yeah, this is VPN. When you are using a VPN network, nobody will really know the source where you are, what, where you are browsing what from. I am only browsing in Nigeria, and my IP or my VPN will be telling you that I am browsing from South Africa. I am browsing from Russia. I am browsing from what? From Belgium. VPN. They are high level security what? network that can able to what? You know, bypass a lot of what? lot of things. But please be careful when using VPN. Now, these are different types of computer what? networks. We mentioned the PAN, we mentioned the LAN, we mentioned the wireless LAN, the CAN, the MAN, the WAN, the SAN. The Poland, the EPN, and the world, and the VPN, which is the virtual private world, private network. Now, all this you are seeing right on your screen are examples of computer network. But take note, the common one we have around is the PAN, the personal area network, number one. We have the LAN, two, which is the local area network. Three, we have the wireless LAN, which is the wireless local area world network. We have the VPN. The virtual area what network and we have the one the wide area network these are common what networks we have around either as an individual either collectively either in your school in your organization in your office at all these are different types of what of network that what that exists and we are doing all this so we can share information so we can easily have access to our what to our file so that our files, our document, our information can really be moved from one point to the what to the other. Now, in conclusion, file sharing is a public or private distribution of computer data or space in a network with various level of access what privilege. That is also another meaning for file what file sharing, the public or private distribution of computer what computer data then file share allows a number of people to use the same file or file by some combination of being able to read or view it or to modify or to modify it that's the conclusion of the work of the class no so in essence what i'm trying to say is file sharing is important it's core it's helping us to work 
to share our files. It's helping us to share our information between two or more what? Between two or more people. And then take notes. Some of you are familiar with the word wifey, wifey, wifey. And that the uh, by wifey for us at home. This wifey. Why some of you don't know the meaning of the word wifey. Wifey simply means wireless fidelity. Again, wifey, which is W-I-F-I, simply means wireless what? Fidelity. When you are working with wireless, you don't need cable. You don't need to run wires from here to this and that to there. Everything run on what? Run on non what or non wireless what? No, you don't need to see wires. They work and you can browse, you can do a lot of work, you can do a lot of things. Like some of you are familiar with the IST language in the school, you know we have a wireless router that can broadcast. So you know you could you have to browse with your laptop or your system, so you don't need cable. Just probably the other system say password, you can discuss with me or meet your director. He's going to give you the password to browse. You don't need cable to do what to do all this work, all this thing. So in conclusion, what we are saying is, why are our file sharing and computer network a core? There are things that has come to what to stay. They are helping us to move files. They are helping us for what? For better, for better connectivity. If you need further information concerning this, you can send a message to me through the water platform or you send a message through your school Porter, or you can go online for further work for further research pertaining to what pertaining to this. And I am sure I uh, by God's will that Google will surely give you your work, your answers, and filter it out for you. I hope you enjoyed this brief lecture. Once again, I am Akimbo Yewa Imane. I see you in this class. Remain blessed. Thank you.